Welcome to part 17 of Yakuza 0. In this part, we gotta go find Makoto Mak Makimura. So, Carson. Yes? Just wanted to make sure. <laughs> you haven't said anything <laughs> for a while. I thought you were going to say more about, uh, what's her name? Um, uh, anyways, um, so Sagawa told us, Sagawa told us, uh, Makoto's a scumbag. He gets, uh, girl, uh, college girls to pretty much, uh, become prostitutes. Huh. Through the telephone club, which is a, a thing in Japan, so... And also wanted to go to dis disco for some reason. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, um, telephone club. <clears throat> uh, the telephone club is plot important for Majima for this, but it's actually like a mini game for Kiryu. A pain in the ass game for cure a mini game for cure. One man's trash is another man's treasure. But I mean, like the cutscene for um, whenever Kiryu picks up the phone is hilarious. He just sits there, and then when the moment the phone rings, he fucking like rips the phone out of the, uh, <laughs> uh, out from the um, what's it called the, the main piece, whatever it's connected to. It's like it's like in slow motion too, and it looks over dramatic. And then it goes back to normal, he puts the phone to the side of his face, like, Moshi Moshi. <laughs> <laughs> but the minigame itself is kind of a pain in the ass, because um, for, like, uh, in order to get, like, 100% completion, you have to do, like, all the side quests, and there's, like, uh, three side quests involved with the telephone minigame, where you're supposed so, to, like, you get a specific, you're supposed to get a specific girl. Can we just talk about how we're playing as an ex Yakuza member who was tortured for what a, a year straight after almost performing a hit who works for a hostess club who is now working a hotline? <laughs> Yakuza series, ladies and gentlemen. Gentlemen. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, as I was saying, um, you're supposed to get like three specific girls from like the through the telephone uh, mini game, but you can't tell what girl is it. You have to listen through like their voice and their uh, how they speak. But that's kind of hard because they speak Japanese and I don't understand Japanese. <laughs> because it's not only like uh, the three girls are trying to get are like pretty ones, but then there's also a bunch of ugly girls that you could get by mistake. And if you get them, you lose health. <laughs> oh my god. And it's like, Kiryu's like, I think I lost something I never thought I could lose. Man, Kiryu don't take no ugly bitches. <laughs> Kiryu's like, never again. And then when you fuck up the mini <laughs> telephone club in a game, <laughs> you get it again. He's like, why? <laughs> It was really fucking hard. <laughs> it's also kind of like... <laughs> it's also a minigame where you kind of don't want your parents walking in. Because there's a, <laughs> there's a girl in a bikini floating in the background as you do the minigame. <laughs> uh, you have a lot of experience of your parents walking in on awkward video game moments, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it kind of sucks. I'm never going to forget that. I'll be on my deathbed, and that's going to be the final thing that goes through my mind. <laughs> She's just gonna chuckle. It's like, all right, that happened. <laughs> Soccer spirit. <laughs> now I am a spirit. <laughs> Para, is that you? Yep. So who do you think is gonna die first, me, you, or Blaze? Um, that's something I don't think about. <laughs> Most likely to win in the fight against Majima. <laughs> None of us. 
Yeah, but who's most likely? <laughs> I'm, we're all even at zero percent. <laughs> ah, shit. Yeah, but what if we get down to the decimal point? Still at zero percent. <sighs> I'm sorry, even if all three of us fall at the same time, we're just gonna get thrown off a building, even if we're not on a building. <laughs> He'll grab us all three at once and then just chuck us off it. I'm oh, sorry, Majima's a person you just don't fuck with. <laughs> Ever. Yeah? Do you think there's any Yakuza playable character that Miyu and Blaze could have any fighting chance against when we fight him three against one? Um. Yeah, I know who, but that wouldn't be fair. Why? Because she's a girl, and she doesn't fight? I said playable character. Yes. Oh. <laughs> you know what I'm talking well, I mean, about. You know what I, you will know who I'm talking about in five. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay, what if she stepped to us first? Then would it be fair? Instead of resolving it with violence, I'm pretty sure she just beat us in a dance battle. Fuck. Uh, I'm sure you could dance fair. Uh, oh, hey, it's Walking Erection. I hate this man. Why is that his name? Oh. Hey, looks like at least he's happy to be here. I know it's just the lighting, but I honestly thought he had skin colored underwear. <laughs> Why are they glowing? It's okay, reflecting well, now they're sunlight. not the back, but. It's reflecting sunlight. Okay. You know, at least he bought her to wear shoes. I still like that title, Walking Erection. Erection. I know I should be used to it at this point, but I'm just not so used to the Yakuza series being so blunt. Yeah. <laughs> or being so damn random. <laughs> hmm? Even though I think those two traits seem to go hand in hand with the series anyways. I mean, it's like... The main story is really serious, but then like all the side quests is just straight up fucking goofy. <laughs> Do you think when they had the Yakuza members play those parts, those were accurate? <laughs> Pretty sure they got a chuckle out of it, and I was like, I think I've been to a similar situation before, and I'm like, what the fuck? I want to read that art article again after actually playing some. And yeah, they did bring up like all the random side quests that happens on the street, and it's like, yeah, do you know I mean, you never know what happens on the street. You might get <laughs> dragged along for some random crazy shit, <laughs> and you wouldn't know it. Wait, was that just that was that was something orchestrated just by some like journalism journal gaming site bullshit thing, right? Uh, it's just, it was just a journalist, I believe. Yeah, I don't think it was orchestrated. How do, you, how do you do that? It's so weird, though. Find ex Yakuza members to talk about a Yakuza game? Is that easy to do? I don't think so. Hmm. Especially when all three of those uh, ex Yakuza members didn't want their name to be disclosed. I mean, I could only imagine why. Yeah, true, but it's like, how the, how did you fucking find them? <laughs> Seriously. Didn't one of them have his pinky cut off? I think so. So he couldn't really play as easily, I think? Or something like that. Oh my god, they have pizza place here. Do you think they serve scorpions on them? <laughs> yeah, they have a pizza place here. 
Yeah, they have like Fun. some. They have like some American restaurants, uh, in the city. For both Kamarucho and Sotenbori. Oh, that's a statue. Okay, that make uh, that makes a lot more sense in the background. Oh, <laughs> oh, the statue. Oh. <laughs> I thought some guy was just standing in a really awkward pose. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's one of those street artists that, you know, pretend to be a statue. Oh, I thought it was just an actual statue. I, <laughs> I mean, if you look closely, you can see him kind of moving. <laughs> and he's a side quest. Uh, the side quest pretty much it's like, you keep interrupting him. It's like, come on, I'm trying, I'm trying to perform here. And finally, at one point, it's like, hey, Anjma, can you, like, cover for me? I really need to take a piss, but people are watching. <laughs> so you have to, like, distract them. That's pretty funny. <laughs> and Anjma just fucking looks like an idiot. It's like, hey, guy, is that a fucking UFO? <laughs> <laughs> also, another thing, um, Mashima hates dealing with women after, you know, two years of running a hostess club. <laughs> Couldn't blame yeah. man. <laughs> but I gotta say, he's still a pretty smooth talker. I mean, he has to be, it's his job. Yeah, I mean, he has to <laughs> make sure his girls are doing their job properly. Look how that girl just walked up, looked, and was like, yeah, no, fuck that, and then peaced out. <laughs> this that just creepy as fuck. <laughs> I love his suit. Uh, this is what I was talking about, about, like, uh, what if you don't have money whenever the game takes money from you? Because uh, we're, <laughs> we're footing the bill for um, the sushi restaurant. Aww. I think Majra's probably like, why just... is he talking to us? Good question. It's like, what the fuck? I'm on a date here. And he's like rubbing her back. That was weird. Yeah, shut up. Let's pass by the Sega Arcade. <laughs> Not the yell. I'm right here. <laughs> <laughs> you were inches away from me. What do you think of sushi? I like sushi. I think sushi is pretty good. And sushi is also one of those foods that I eat slowly because I just want to savor it. <laughs> it's like I feel bad if I like eat it really fast because I mean. One, you don't get much to begin with, and two, they're fucking expensive. <laughs> so it's like, it's something you just have to, like, like enjoy. Every... There's just certain foods you can scarf down, and then other foods you just... <laughs> sushi, it, sushi isn't fucking potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> sushi chips? That probably exists somewhere. Probably. I can't remember if it's kiwi or green tea flavored Kit Kats that Japan has, but what the I think fuck? It's, I think it's green tea. Because okay. uh, I see. Well, I know there's like green tea stuff, but I swear to God, there's a kiwi flavor of something. I just can't think of it right now. I think like I think I tried green tea Kit Kat before, and it's oh. it's alright. Oh, you know what's the best thing though? Green tea pocky. That's my shit. Oh, it's delicious. I think I had that like once. Oh no, I normally eat like strawberry pocky. Strawberry pocky is also really good. Actually, po I just love pocky in general. Uh, there's a world market near me, and uh, just every time I go there, I buy every single kind of pocky they have. <laughs> I don't eat pocky often, but when I do, I usually get strawberry. Mm. 
Same. Well, I don't eat it often, but when I eat, like get it, I get a shit ton. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I know where to get it, but it's just I never bothered. Yeah. Like, I want to say, yeah, you can get it at Walmart. I'm pretty sure, or at least I think. I can't remember. It's, it's been a while. Or maybe some knockoff brand. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've just bought Pocky from Walmart. At least when I lived in Utah, I'm pretty sure. Really? I, I have never seen Pocky in Walmart. Really? It was either asked. Walmart or my gas station, but I don't know why it'd be my gas station. I just remember from one, like, normal, local, well, not local, but, like, nationwide store, there was Pocky there. But it's been quite a while, so maybe I'm just misremembering. Wonder what's really cool. <laughs> what? The uh, the Sega arcades they do have uh, old arcade games of like the uh, Sega um, like um, Outrun, um, Super Hang. Uh, there's two more. Huh. But it's like <laughs> it's really cool. <laughs> It's, it's awesome. What? Um, what was I going to say? Well, arcades, like, Sega is still pretty big in terms of arcades in Japan, right? Or am I just misremembering? I can't remember. I believe so, considering Sega arcades are still in, like, modern Yakuza games, which, you know, okay. takes place modern time. Space Harrier. That's an awesome one. It's so, it's so meta to see a Sega arcade in the Sega, oh shit, uh, to see a Sega arcade in Sega game, but I mean, it fits, so it's not even out of place. <laughs> I mean, I never played any of these arcade games before until Yakuza 0, because they're, they, uh, you have to achieve a certain high score in order to count towards your completion list. Mm. But I mean, I found Outrun to be pretty fun. <laughs> <laughs> Outrun right there. <laughs> yeah, the one in the background. <laughs> it's also funny because whenever you like get onto like the machine, uh, Majima and Kiryu they like you know, sit on it and then they just like <laughs> like get pressed against their seat like they're actually driving really fast. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever been to like an arcade or anything? Even though I, they're not that easy to find around here anymore. I have, Seven. like a long time ago. <laughs> Uh, the one time I went to Vegas while I was like, what, like 15, which sucks because I couldn't do anything. <laughs> there was an arcade like in my hotel and they had Marvel vs. Capcom 2. <laughs> and that's what I <laughs> spent most of my day playing. <laughs> I remember a movie theater I used to always go to back in Utah. They had uh, Turtles in Time and I'd play that. Uh, I'd usually get, God damn it. I'd get there like half an hour, an hour early, just so I could play that. <laughs> yeah, uh, I got stuck here. <laughs> I was trying to get one, but I keep fucking up. It's Can stupid. Can you play the other one, or is this one mandatory? This, uh, this one's mandatory. Because she wants a little bird thing. I assume I wasn't paying attention. Oh, I think you. I think like after you use up all your tries, you can enter more, uh, insert more coins, or you can just quit. And I was like, "Fuck it." Let's go. <laughs> but it's it's weird. I never fucked that up until I started recording. <laughs> I usually just I usually didn't uh, didn't have to spend any of my own money. Hey, we're gonna... you wanna, I want to play Outrun right next to you, and we can just chill and talk there, <laughs> or whatever it's called. Outrun. Yeah, okay. Maybe I might show it off. <laughs> A bonus part. <laughs> Welcome to our Let's Play <laughs> Outrun <laughs> on Yakuza Zero. Yeah, just uh, show off the arcade games for a part. Yeah, I can do that. 
Knock out uh, four LPs of one. Take five. <laughs> I forgot what the fourth one was called. I think it's like Choo Choo Line or something like that. But it's like hard. The little, uh, like wing thing? Yeah, that thing. Choo Choo Rocket? No. Isn't that a Dreamcast game? What's the I, actual one I'm thinking of? Well, probably. Well, I, mean, it, it, I, mean, I mean, it's Sega, but still. It's like they have that. I know which I, one it is, yeah. I played that, and it's hard as balls. <laughs> Anyways, we got a unique looking character here. Angry young man. Oh hey, it's Kamaki. You know what this means. <laughs> New talent. Or skill. <laughs> New style. Oh yeah, style. There we go. Yeah, we haven't got our third style yet for Majima. But man, do I love this style <laughs> that we're about to get. Also, ever since we watched the part with the butcher, I think since every every day since then, I've been I've listened to Tiger Flute at least two or three times a day. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> it's such a good track. <laughs> okay, to be honest, I have like I spent like an entire month listening to nothing but Yakuza Zero <laughs> tracks. So I need I'm to actually so listen to the rest of the soundtrack, but I want I want to wait until we're done with the game to do that. I mean, I I had like the, the whole track, but you know, I, some songs I didn't really pay attention to that much. But then when I went through the game, and I was like, man, I really love this track. And then I have to go through the soundtrack again. It's like, oh, it's, this is the track, and then now I listen to it like fifty times in <laughs> in a whole day. See, and the same day I started doing that was uh, when I got Persona Five. And so the like only two songs I ever listened to were were Tiger Flute and Life Will Change. Best style in the series. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I love this style. <laughs> it's called the Breaker style. <laughs> it's fucking flashy as hell, and I love it. Yeah. And it's also really good for crowd control. <laughs> and it also destroys some bosses if you <laughs> know which bosses to use it against. Okay, in Power Rangers, the blue, not the blue ranger, the black ranger, he, he pretty much did the same thing. He did like karate, but with dance in it, or just fighting mixed with dancing, and he had a name for it, but I can't remember it right now. It hurts. I know what you're talking about. And the name eludes me. Shit. And it was like the best name ever. Quick, look it up. What is it, Carson? Uh, I'm looking. <laughs> oh, hip hop keto. Hip hop keto. <laughs> <laughs> For some reason, I was thinking like hip kung fu. <laughs> <laughs> Um, also another thing about the Breaker style, it has my favorite, um, like, normal battle tracks in the game. Maybe you should run a bit more. <laughs> nah, nah, she got that rubber band. Oh yeah, I have a lot of money, gotta upgrade the shit. <laughs> Woo! 
Watch my left his dreams behind of rejoining the Yakuza and just became a professional break dancer. <laughs> oh, I mean, when you train with the when you train with that one guy, he's like, man, we could like hit it really big. And Majima's like, yeah, I'm just gonna stick with the Yakuza. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Is there a move where you can moonwalk? No, sadly. Ah. Oh. Miracle Johnson was in the game. How do you? Oh, oh you kind of moonwalked earlier. Well, I mean, okay, this is more break dancing than just like you can work a moonwalk into a break dance. Barrow. Okay, true. <laughs> I'm sure you could break a moonwalk into any form of dance, and people would appreciate it. <laughs> 